patient with uh, essential tremor, we looked uh, uh, clinically the type of essential tremor, and particularly those patients who are improved dramatically are patients with severe form of postural and distal tremor. And of course, patients with severe form of postural but also proximal tremor have a long-term risk of tolerance but may be well improved also but from a short-term point of view. This is for essential tremor. Now for Parkinson's disease, Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease in which you have a lack of uh, levodopa. And the main predictors of re response is the effect of levodopa. The better the effect of levodopa before surgery, the better will be the effect of uh, um, deep brain stimulation, despite the presence of a lot of motor complications, which will be uh, dramatically cured also. Finally, the main concern will be for a cognitive and psychiatric issue. And we have to carefully examine our patient from that point of view to uh, be sure that uh, we can uh, succeed in that operation. Uh, these techniques uh, bring a very abrupt and a very um, rapid um, cure of a patient. And patient with a long disease duration with a severe disability recovered uh, abruptly from their symptoms and they had to adjust between in family life, in, uh, with their spouse, with their children, and also in social life. And there are some problems with those patients because they are treated and they are signif significantly improved, but they are not cured because the disease is still evolving. Uh, although uh, the patients are best, and then they have to adjust their, themselves with this new uh, situation and to think about their situation, thinking about uh, the fact that they are still a Parkinsonian patient, but not totally the same as before and not totally cured. So this is a very particular situation and we need to help them to, to cope with, with that situation. The, the key issues are probably uh, the selection. To, we have to select carefully our patient and in selection, I also mean preparation to the uh, surgery. I think that we need to carefully prepare, prepare the patient and to help the patient to anticipate what will be the amelioration in his particular case. And we also uh, have to help the patient to um, anticipate the, what he is going to be and to detect from the clinical point of view what will be the discrepancy between the patient all believes and what surgery is going really to do for this patient. And when you have this, this discrepancy, you will have problem and we have a patient with which will be unsatisfied. But if you can prepare the patient uh, carefully, you, will, you can help him to cope with this situation.